My name is Danielle Fox, and I'm a fixed income regional brokerage consultant supporting the Massachusetts branches here at Fidelity. The purpose of this video is to introduce the idea of a CD ladder to help clients earn more with their cash. One example that we will run into from time to time is where clients have extra cash set aside above and beyond what their emergency reserves are. We will introduce the idea of using a CD ladder in the hopes of earning a higher rate of return than what they're currently getting in cash in addition to the safety of the principal. A certificate of deposit or a CD is an FDIC insured instrument issued by a bank. It pays interest on a periodic basis, sometimes monthly, sometimes at maturity, sometimes semi-annually, and at the end of its term, the principal value is returned to an investor. A brokered CD is issued by a bank, no different than if you walked into that institution on your own. However, the benefit is you're allowed to hold it in your brokerage account along with all your other positions. You may be offered an opportunity to invest in a wider range of maturities than what might be available at your local bank. Oftentimes we'll see certificates of deposit as short as three months out and as long as 20 years out. It also allows you the opportunity to invest at any given point in time, which is important if you're looking to stay within the FDIC insurance limits of $250,000. Those FDIC insurance limits are no different than what occurs with a local banking institution. The benefits of a CD ladder strategy is it allows a client to effectively balance the need for liquidity along with the opportunity to earn a higher rate of return with excess cash. I'd encourage clients to look at this as part of a buy and hold strategy. So as an example, we may have clients that are interested in investing up to one year in certificates of deposit. We could take the funds that they're seeking to allocate to the strategy and divide it into four. The first would go into a three-month CD, the second would go into a six-month CD, the third into a nine-month, and the final piece would go into a 12-month certificate of deposit. The hope is that with each of those instruments, they'd be earning a higher rate of return as they go further out along the yield curve. But the benefit is that they would have a periodic opportunity to access the principal that they've invested. So when that three-month CD comes due, you have a decision to make. You can choose to reallocate it back into the CD ladder, perhaps looking at a new 12-month CD, because that old 12-month CD is now three months shorter. It's now a nine-month security. So the idea is that three months, you have a decision point where you choose where and how to reinvest it. So you want to ask yourself a few questions before implementing a CD ladder strategy. First is, how much cash are you willing to set aside in such a strategy? The second would be, what are my liquidity needs between now and that first maturity? The third question I'd ask myself is, what are my plans with that money as it comes due? Fidelity makes it very easy to view CDs and ultimately build a CD ladder. Our rates are very competitive and our CDs trade in increments of $1,000 all while incurring no transaction costs for doing so. The certificates of deposit are consolidated in your positions page just like any other security that you would own. And you can also opt to receive alerts as these instruments are coming due. All of the instruments are available online 24-7 in addition to being accessible through our fixed income specialist team that is available to assist you with an implementation. On behalf of Fidelity, I want to thank you for taking the time to view this video on CD ladders. Our organization looks forward to assisting you in the future with your fixed income needs.